How you doing? My name is Thunder and welcome to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Car Build. And in this episode, I have gotten me, of course, the Mitsubishi Eclipse GT. A car that I'm, I'm kind of surprised I actually took this long to get to, to be fair. I thought I'd be doing this much earlier, but I guess that's how forgettable the car is, really. There was a lot of hype for this car when it first came out, I think. A lot of games were really showing a lot of use of it, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Or I, either that or I could just be going crazy, but yeah. This car really fell flat and pretty much is the last generation of the Eclipse. But the stats seem to look alright. It could be a very similar case of the Audi TT, apparently. But let's see if it's actually around that same area, or if it's even better. Or worse. To find out the real answer to that, we have to take this car around to the Petersburg test track to drive this car for six laps and try to get the fastest lap time that we possibly can out of this car. The current leader is the Porsche Carrera GT, which set a lap time of 57.45 seconds. And of course, you probably already am going to guess that, yeah, I don't actually think this is going to get there. Because it's, it would be, that would be, that'd be crazy if it did, but yeah, let's be realistic here. I don't exactly think an Eclipse is going to do that. But, you know, I could always be wrong. Except in this case when I know I'm not going to be wrong. But anyways. Nevertheless, we're just going to try to see what, exactly what kind of time we can pull off with the Eclipse here and at least hope for the best. But, anyways... Speedwise is actually looking okay. I'd say it's better than, just a little bit better than the uh, TT and the handling's actually be pretty well. It's, it's handling sharper than I was actually expecting it to. I mean, it's not mind-blowing or nothing, but, you know... Still more than I was expecting out of this car, to be perfectly honest, so... The, the Eclipse is a little bit surprising in this game, to say the least, I guess. But, anyways, oh god! Ah, oh god, 106.5, and that was just a case of getting rid of all of those, apparently. And through there... Try to just keep speed up good, didn't fall below 200 kilometers an hour. I mean, not it's not great either, but you know... Still better than going below that 200 mark, I'd say, so, you know, you can't really blame me too much for saying that, I guess, in that kind of situation. But we are faring off pretty well here, and I'm going to try to see exactly what I can do to just see if it, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this will probably be around the 102 area maybe low 102s, but of course, there's only one way of finding out, is of course figuring out what times I'm able to get with this thing, of course. This corner's always so difficult to me. 103.6, ooh. Well, to be fair, I started the second lap going a lot slower than I am right now, because of what situations that happened. Well, that was actually pretty well done there. I'll definitely uh, shave off a bit of time there, I'd say. Whoa, okay, that was a bit of... I did that a little bit interesting, but I still managed to get go through there with quite a bit of speed, which definitely helps. I think I just gotta keep going here and hope for the best. Let's see here. Yep, everything's looking okay. Three... Oh. Just under, just under, just over 300, excuse me. My words confused here. I should go back to every English dictionary school in the world if there actually even is such a thing as an English dictionary school. But yeah. Let's see here. And we've got a 10206. Very, very close to just cracking under the 102. So this is. Definitely already faster than the Supra, it's faster than the CTS, it's faster than the uh, TT. That was actually a pretty good time from that, to say the least. And that may have not been the prettiest, but I kept it off the wall. And that's the good part. So, let's see what exactly else I'm going to achieve with this car. Can I at least, can, can getting under, just under a 102 be possible? I mean, if I were to find a way, it could possibly be done. Um, there, there's again, another toll booth that didn't load properly, so it's just kind of a signs there and whatnot, just kind of sitting there. 
I mean, I have a pretty good hard drive here. I, I replaced the hard drive uh, in December, in like the end of December. So 102.1. Wow. So yeah, this thing can do low 102s. Kind of, kind of, kind of good to see though. Anyway, anyways, I'm still of course trying to keep as much I can to keep the uh, power and whatnot of this car going, and I may have done that a little, just a little late on that one compared to what I could, I could do, but, you know, not terrible either. Of course, I'm going to just keep trying to keep the speed of this car going and not try to, not try to slow it down, I think. I think? What am I saying? Ah, uh, whatever. I can't even think anymore, to be honest. I've been doing, this is like the 24th part I've done in one day. We're recording this whole series in one sitting, so it's like, that's probably why my brain is not thinking right anymore. This should be a pretty good lap, I'd say. Oh, only 102.4? Huh, I thought, that, thought that, it felt like it was the best lap I was doing, but apparently not. Oh god. And of course, here's my AI car again, who screwed himself up, as usual. Or screwed herself up since apparently his name's Alice. Apologies. And I'm actually coming into a zone where I can just kind of do that and cut through, and there you go. Managed to avoid hitting the car completely, which is nice. But this is kind of ridiculous that they have these like little uh, issues sometimes, to say the least, I suppose. To say the least, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> uh, me and my brain. Many journeys of many stupidities. Okay, that was that was to be expected at some point, I suppose. I already know this isn't going to be better, so let's just uh, let's just hit this to get this over with. I can just find out anyways what time I gotten from that anyways. So what would have what was that time anyways? 105.8. So yeah, it wouldn't have even mattered. But anyways. A 102.06 for the Eclipse is a little better than I was expecting it to. I was expecting about a second slower, but it was a second faster, so hooray! So, of course, the 102.06 means it goes right into 17th place, putting it above the Toyota Supra, Audi TT, Cadillac CTS, and Mercedes SL500, but is just off of the Lexus IS300, Subaru Impreza, and about a second off of the Chevrolet Cobalt. And there's still more cars to go through the initial game before we even get to the mod stuff. So stay tuned for that, and as always, thank you for watching and take care. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them.